Um, thank you so much um, for joining me on this uh, flip through of my own personal journal. Again, I apologize for the noise and any vibration. Uh, we are working on our, our RV roof at the moment. Paul's up there. And uh, I've, I just don't have any other time that I can do this. We've got extreme heat here. And it's early in the morning. And I've just got to do it be before I have to kick on the air conditioner. Because as you remember in some videos back when the air conditioner comes on, it's so, so loud. So here we are, guys. This is a journal that I made. Uh, I would say this is going on six years ago. Um, this was just an altered book that I took some tissue, um, put in three signatures, and a book plate, and this sat in my storage unit in Tallahassee for five years, <laughs> and I grabbed it up this last time and thought, you know what, I'm going to use that journal, because sometimes you hang on to things um, and you think, oh, I'm just going to keep it as a reminder of something I, I made. And actually, to be perfectly honest with you, this is the only journal that I've made that I have possession of. All of them have been sold. Um, I keep saying there's certain styles that I want to go back and make for myself, but I don't know when I'll get the chance for it. But anyways, that's the story behind this little journal. So this is 2023. Uh, began writing in this. Um, I think in a previous video I said this started out as a junk journal January challenge. Um, and I went a few days with it and then, or you know, I don't know, I went into it probably half the month and then, I don't know, things just changed and I just couldn't complete it. But here's a altered tag. This was a... Um, old, you know, the sewing pattern tissue, and then I just layered it up, and I love that. There is beauty and simplici simplicity, and that is so, so true. So, this diary belongs to, I cut that out of a Daphne's diary, diary magazine, and I absolutely slaughtered that magazine before I threw it out, because as you guys all know, they are so expensive. And I debated whether to tear it, you know, to even use it. I was just going to save it. And I thought, well, no, there's no point. Um, once you've gone through them, I just wanted to use it um, and try to get some value out of it because they are so expensive. So, yeah, little bits and pieces of that you'll see, you'll see within this journal. So this is just a collage, and that was done in March. And um, this was day one of the challenge, and I believe it was starry. I think I've written it down somewhere, but um, sorry for the glare. This was some images that I found in brochures, and I love how this came out. Um, this was always a dream of mine when we hit the road, is that we would be able to lay out and sleep under the stars. So it just, I just love it. And it's, I've written, is there anything better than sleeping under a starry sky? I don't think so. <laughs> I love the bear. So that was that page. Um, oh, actually, this must have been... Oh, this was page one. I'm sorry, I skipped over it. But yeah, I'm not going to... I think what I'll do, guys, is if there's anything really significant to tell you, I'll point it out. But otherwise, I'm just going to kind of let you just... See, and I did make little notes. Day three, this was stained. And then I've tucked in just little, little things that we've collected along the way during that period. Another collaged uh, tag. And then a just this page. I I'm really, really love how this journal came out. This is uh, very much in my style. And this, you know how much I, I, I buy the Tim Holtz stuff, and then I, I'll, I think I've said in the past, I really do struggle with it, but I'm pushing myself to try to use these things up. Um, I don't know, time will tell whether I, I carry on with them, but I am just determined I'm going to use the things that I've got. And 
slowly. I'm getting through it. Um, I have done a little bit of um, journaling, so I won't I won't share those parts. Um, and it's just mostly what we what we were doing that day. Again, I tried to focus on using up things from the Daphne Diary, and uh, this was routine that challenge for that day and then this was stitched and this was a little piece that I had slow stitched and I just added all that together I love how that came out and then this has just been left maybe I'll go back and fill that up I don't know um, this was paid on day seven and then I just, anything that I saw that I liked, I just added here. This was day eight. I don't remember for sure what um, what the prompt was that day. but So yeah, I can't remember without going back to the list. But it would just take too long, guys, to um, for the flip through. Because it is three signatures. So I just thought I'd just carry on here. And again, this one, as you can see, um, it's some vintage, but then I went off, uh, you know, in, in other styles as well. Which is, you know, looking back now, I that's why I think I love it so much, is because it is such an eclectic mix of, um, of styles. And then anything... <clears throat> This was for my birthday. My daughter bought me a little succulent, and I just saved the tag off of it because I just I like the shape of it. I thought that was really cute. And this was some papers and die cuts I got from Hobby Lobby in that haul, and I'm kind of regretting it. I'm going to use them, but yeah. I think sometimes you get sucked into buying things and then you, you realize that ah, that's not really my style. And again, you can tell that a lot of this is the Daphne Diary images. But we were eating a lot of salads. When it gets hot, we eat a lot of salads. And this is just some private um, journaling there. So this one, I really like that. That was a, um, you know, just a receipt off of a shirt I think I bought at TJ Maxx and then I just added some things to it. And top five that was part of um, the challenge as well. So I had I don't know, oh day 17 so yeah I did make it pretty far into it. More private journaling um, and then I took a guest check and just used it as a journal card there. Made a little tuck spot here that's been collaged. So that's the first signature. And then this one is just images of autumn that I love. I love that old truck. And then this one, just very simple, some gold thread. But I love it. I love how that's come out. And more private journaling. And this one, I love this page. I actually forged these in northern Alabama, and they were just perfect. So I picked them. They were already dried, and they were just, I don't know if it's related to a hydrangea, but they were beautiful out in the woods. And I picked those, and then I came back, and I just put a bit of Mod Podge on there. But you can see that was back in the March. And again, some journaling and little tags and things. And then this one, I just love how this came out. This was actually a mistake because it was the vellum paper. <laughs> I didn't, I don't know why, I just didn't realize that I was putting that on the vellum. But now that it's on there, I love how that's, you can see the onions in the back, which are on that page. Love it. More journaling. 
And then I really, really like how this, this page came out. Did some stamping there with um, a sticker and then just did some collaging. And then as you can see, this here I started adding some things. We, we found a Dairy Queen in Alabama that had a churro dipped cone. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> and then this was gifted to me by my, um, uh, the ranger. I'm just going to put that on there. Um, she, at Aklakni, we were volunteering for the winter and um, she made me a little stocking up and this was uh, the cover of a little notepad that she gave me for Christmas. So I wanted to put that in there because I, I just thought that was really thoughtful of her to think of me. Another collage tag. Um, just these were, um, oh, I can't even remember. I did a couple of unboxing. You probably recognize it. Um, for this company, and I'm sorry, I, it's just gone out of my mind, but I've got a lot of those die cuts and tissue paper, so I, I just want to use everything. I know these don't go together, but I just don't care. <laughs> Again, these were purchases from Hobby Lobby, the die cuts, and to be honest, I won't buy those again. You get a few that you like, and then the rest of them are, they're just, I don't, I just don't care for them. I love how that one came out. Oh, that's a really pretty little tag. And then this one, I just collected some flowers and I <laughs> I didn't have any a laminator, so I just took clear mat clear tape and I put um these were from Aklakni. So I wanted to preserve those and it's actually held up pretty good. I mean, uh, the tape really um, wrinkled, but I don't care. I, it's it's just a memory from that period. And then another little altered tag that I made. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. And then here, this again was in. Um, let me try this. This was in. Um, Alabama. We stopped at the Fame recordio, Recording Studio and I just picked up one of their brochures and added that. And this is another one of those die cuts that you can get and I, I just won't be purchasing those anymore, I don't think. It's just not me. Um, sorry if you hear snoring in the background. That's Daisy. <laughs> um, Land Between the Lakes, a beautiful um, equestrian campground that we stayed a week at on the way to Michigan. And um, Okay guys, I uh, unfortunately lost this last portion of the video, so I'm sorry if it seems disjointed. Um, here, this was just, an, again, another free image and uh, personal journaling more personal journaling and this was when we were starting to then come into um, Michigan and well we were in Michigan and we visited the oldest um, tavern up in Traverse City so that was um, a nice experience um, another collage here and this is towards the end of April And here, I absolutely love how this collage has come out. It took me a while to get into the um, the Tim Holtz, but um, again, when you practice, uh, you do uh, begin to get a bit more comfortable with it. So, okay, so here was just another day out and just bits. This was from a coffee and this Frisk Orchard, I love to go there and I'm looking forward to autumn uh, when the cider comes in and being able to go when they have their fresh donuts. Again, just another 
portion of um, a brochure that I picked up. And some children books images. Um, this was a day out and I just saved receipts and we had a wine tasting at this Peninsula Cellars up in um, north of Traverse City and it was a really really enjoyable experience. We went up to that lighthouse as well. So again just things that, that you can come across at visitor centers. And um, again, some more of these Hobby Lobby die cuts, just trying to use those up. Um, another collage tag. And I've just tucked in little business cards that people have given us along the way. A lot of people on the road will have business cards made up, so when they meet somebody that they want to stay in contact with, they just give it to them and, and it'll have their um, details you know, whether they choose to give you the phone number or not, or um, maybe just a Facebook contact. So I've tried to save those um, along the way. And um, just little things. This was a laundry bag that I purchased to put our clean laundry into after I go to the laundromat. I just saved that. Just things that mean something to, to us. And this was a day out um, when we went to Traverse City and Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes and then, of course, Moomers. If you're up in that part of Michigan, you will be familiar with Moomers ice cream. It is amazing. So I really have enjoyed um, journaling. It took me so long to get over the fear of doing it, and now that I have, I just go with it. And, you know... Like I said, you, you get odd things sometimes that are neon colored or whatever, and you know maybe it doesn't go with everything else, but I don't care about that now. I just stick everything in. It's just such a great reminder. And this was when we went to Mackinac Island. Um, the lilac festival was on that, at the time that we were out there, and it smelled so nice. Tickets from the ferry. So it was a really enjoyable trip. And again, another tag using those foraged flowers. And you just can see, I, I didn't, I've got a couple pages that are blank, but I'm happy to leave it that way because I feel that the journal is complete. And the last page was just, these were included in something I purchased. And then I made this altered guest check. And I really love how that came out. So that's the flip through, guys. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed that. I hope it's inspired some of you who have had the same fear as I did of actually um, journaling. It's funny because I've made journals for years but I've only started to journal in probably the last two years now and um, and I, I just think it's going to be such fun. I'm already enjoying going back and looking through it but as I get older and you forget the little details I think it's going to be great to, uh, to flip through this. So I hope you've enjoyed that guys. And uh, if you're interested in seeing the Cream of Wheat Junk Journal, um, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.